You know, seeing as this is supposed to be the Holden Monaro, um, it seems to be that this would then spawn into the Vauxhall Monaro. You know, the vehicle that really likes drifting and uh, Top Gear fell in love with in uh, on the beach in Wales. Yeah, uh, that car. So, and I just can't think of the right circuit to take it to, but this because this car tops out too early, uh, I don't know what circuit to take it to. So, in the interests of comedic science, let's ask that ever, uh, ever important question. Will it roll? Uh, how about the other way? There it is. There it tumbles. Oh dear. Actually, yeah, having a bit of more of a look on the uh, about the the Formula Mazda, they do actually go to a lot of American circuits. Um, two of them being Indianapolis, and the other being Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. <laughs> um, <laughs> that looks really funny. <laughs> Sorry. The way the driver just like sits in the car and just everything else. That looks really funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh too much, but <laughs> it looks like a little toy car. Seriously. <laughs> in oh dear. Seriously, just look at this further. It did you, it looks like the little kind of if you ever seen the kind of like those fake you ever kind of see those toys of cars that are like fake cars, but they try to base them off real life? That's kind of what this looks like in real form. Oh, oh we should focus, actually. I'm coming up to the corkscrew. Never mind, that actually paid off. It was... That was really good. This car feels quite nice. <laughs> Damn, this is actually <laughs> maybe a toy, but it's quick. I don't know why I paused there. That that lap was just something else. Let me just check again. One thirty three point seven five zero. I'm not sure if that's actually that good, but damn, if this isn't quick, it's just. Oh look at that! <laughs> the steering wheel looks pretty cool. Look at that. Seriously, I think that looks pretty cool. Don't you? You know, it would be really helpful if I could just like finish the one that uh, the finish the car that I'm doing, and then definitely remember what I'm doing next. What was it that I'm doing next? The Nissan Skyline as a seventy seventy three, yeah, seventy three. It'd be really nice to know that because I think I was just doing a Nissan, Do doing a Nissan testing. Don't take that out of context. No one. You know, look at the front of this car. <laughs> it looks adorable. Look at it. The headlights. I think we may have just found Puss in Boots, you know, when he's doing his big, big eyes, in car form. I, th I think this might just be it, you know? I think we're on the right tracks. You know, as much as I don't follow endurance racing that much, I, after seeing what the Toyota did in that in the one year, it was really impressive, I must say. Is it just, honestly, I'm, it's just nice to see on the headlines that it's not Audi winning for once, you know. It's not. I don't really support anyone in Le Mans racing, so to have someone else, different win. It's quite nice. Toyota instead of Audi. This this car really. They, they introduced this car and it wanted to fight back for a reason. It's, it's snarly. And look at that dashboard. Seriously, look at that. This car may be worth 3.4 million dollars in real life, but maybe that's worth it. Maybe it isn't. It's quick. And it looks quite cool. Oh, break, break, break! That worked. But, well, at least the dashboard looks cool, I guess. <sighs> this is going to be a long day.